Welcome to the University of Alabama, home of the third-ranked Crimson Tide gymnastics team with Coach Sarah Patterson. I'm Tom Roberts, and Sarah, congratulations. A very, very good performance at the University of Kentucky. Well, thank you, Tom. We were excited. Uh, first of all, anytime you go on the road and you do well, you're excited. Um, Kentucky's been a team that's been difficult for us in that's the right. last few years, so uh, I think to, to go out there, perform well, get our highest score of the season, um, after being on the road four or five weeks, I think now we're excited and ready to come back to Coleman Coliseum. I would think you're definitely ready to be at home. Well, we've got a lot of highlights from Lexington, plus we'll hear from Aaron Rightly and talk about a matchup between number one and number three, Georgia and Alabama coming up Friday night. So stay with us for all of that coming up on the Sarah Patterson Show. Welcome back to the Sarah Patterson Show. Alabama at Kentucky, your ladies started on the bars and a pretty good evening there, wasn't it? Well, it was. I thought our execution was much better. Uh, I think our ladies hit some handstands and um, we're getting to the point now where we're not worried about making our routines, we're working on perfection. Mm -hmm. I think you could see that in some of the handstands, Cassie Martin, Melanie Banville in particular, and on our dismounts. So I, I think the execution is gonna help our scores. Well, let's look at Bama on the uneven bars, and we start with Cassie Martin, a 9.875. And I think from the side, you'll see those handstands are almost perfect. I really think that this was as about as good as she could do this bar routine. A huge release move, uh, uh, Tukachev, uh, into a pack salto right there on top of the bar. Maybe just a, that's where the half a tenth came from when mm -hmm. she loosened up in her back. I hadn't noticed that from the side until I watched it on video, but. Here she is, great handstands, right, pirouetting right in handstand, once again, right on top of the bar, into a high dismount, and she just nails the landing. I, I don't think Cassie can do that routine any better. Well, Melanie Banville, the Olympian from Canada, goes north again to Kentucky and wins the bars with a 9-9-0. Great handstand there, another nice handstand, right into full pirouette, right on top of the bar into her release move at Tkachev, into a straddle back to a handstand right on the low bar. Um, another great release move there for her and now she's getting ready for a dismount. And the difference between Cassie and Melanie's dismount is the level right here. That's a, a, a higher level dismount than Cassie's with the double tuck and I think that's the difference in, in you see in the 9.0 score. Taryn Humphrey with a 9825. Taryn starting an all round evening. First time you've had someone go all round this year. Yes, it is. Uh, Taryn, this is her long bar routine. Uh, if you'll remember, her bar routine last week started right here mm, yeah. <laughs> with this release move. So she added quite a lot of skills. Uh, I think the difference in the scoring was uh, she wasn't quite in handstand. There she is, but she missed a few before that, and I think that comes from it's a little longer bar routine. She gets that last cast right up there, and we're going to have to work on that, but this routine can score really well for Taryn. So on the bars, you get off to the great start. You go to the vault, and all six of your vaulters go 9-8 or better. It was, it was a good night for us on vaulting. Uh, I thought... Uh, uh, in reviewing the tapes, I thought the vaults were big and high away from the horse, and if you weren't, uh, I think that's where you're, you're, you got the deduction. Um, I, w I was very pleased. Well, let's take a look at the Crimson Tide on the vault, and we start with Melanie Banville. Uh, another good evening for Melanie, a 9825 coming here. And Melanie struggled a little bit in warm-ups. There she get, you see feet just barely mm -hmm. moved there in front of the judges. She struggled a little bit on warm-ups with her run. And uh, I was just really pleased to see her make the adjustment. Dana Folletti comes in, does a nice vault, one little tiny step, but it was big, the turn was tight, it was an excellent vault. And then Taryn Humphrey continuing her all-round evening with a 9.875. Your chinko full, she pretty much drills the landing on that. You see that, Taryn's excited. It's, it's the first time that she's done this vault in competition for us, and we really needed it. Brittany McGee's vault was an excellent vault, just a little moving of the feet there, but it's, it's like Ashley Miles in that it's high, it's up in the air and away from the horse. A 9.95, and for the first time all year, Ashley doesn't win it all by herself because she and Brittany tie. That's got to be a big confidence booster for Brittany. Well, it is, and, and I think you'll see how big Brittany's vault is. I, I think that to, to have that one-two punch there at the end mm -hmm. is, is great for our scoring potential. Well, the Crimson Tide's doing very well after two events. Bama's headed to the floor exercise when we continue on the Sarah Patterson Show. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Sarah Patterson Show. We're looking at Alabama's great performance at the University of Kentucky. Let's go to the floor exercise. Brittany McGee had the great vault, and she continued her 
really incredible night with a wonderful performance on the floor. Well, I really thought Brittany's uh, performance was good. Her execution on her first two passes uh, w were much better. Um, here she comes in, half in, half out. You see she's stepping back, her chest was up on the landing, and that was uh, probably uh, the biggest change from last week. Yeah, she did not wind up right in the corner. Is that by design? Um, she was close. Uh, right. You don't want to get too, too close to the corner. Uh, we had a couple that uh, the, this floor exercise mat was a little bit different. Um, nice, okay. she goes whip whip to a double pike. She gets combination bonus there and also the D level skill. Here's her dance bonus. And this is where she's playing to the crowd just a little bit. She just looks like she's having fun. I think she is. I think uh, this has been um, a great learning experience for her, but I mm -hmm. think she really has adjusted well and she likes it. And I think that's the most important thing. You and I were chatting during the commercial break. She just arrived here in January for this semester, so uh, just really getting used to collegiate gymnastics. And that's a hard tumbling pass that she does, a front double full, last pass. Most people open with that pass, so uh, wow. I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased that she has that level of difficulty. It's a new pass for Taryn. It's a double Arabian. She hasn't done that pass since the Olympics, so it wasn't even a pass that we got in there last year, and uh, it's an E-level tumbling pass. Uh, she was a little short on it, but I think with time that will come. She goes two and a half, a D, right into an A. Wow. Right close to the sidelines mm -hmm. there. Cat double, which is a D level dance skill. Now Taryn is going to end for the first time this season with a double pike. She looks like she's having more fun this year too. Well, I think the beginning was definitely a struggle. Mm -hmm. um, Taryn doesn't do well when she's out of the gym for a long time and taking time off in the fall uh, or in the summer uh, definitely affected her fall and then when she wasn't able to train much over the Christmas holidays uh, because her parents live away from where she used to train that definitely affected her as well. Now we're coming up for a last tumbling pass. It's a D. She's taking a nice deep breath. Round up back handspring, double pike. Just a little short on the landing, but a good, uh, uh, much better in terms of uh, her difficulty level. A 9.80 for Tara. Now Cassie Martin. Another great evening for Cassie. Another one of these wonderful freshmen you have. Cassie does a nice job here. She struggled in last week's meet on this particular um, tumbling pass. It's a round up back handspring, double Arabian. Same pass that Taryn had done. and. Uh, she does do a nice, a nice landing there. I thought Cassie had an exceptional meet. Cassie is a great student. She uh, was one of those with a 4.0 this fall. And she does front layout to a front full. Beautiful move, especially at the end of a routine. I think the uh, biggest deduction that I had in this routine was her double full at the end of the routine. I thought um, her legs were just a little crossed and that's something that we need to work on a little bit. Just getting ready for that last tumbling pass. It's a C level move. We, we need to kind of get that to a D, but we also need to tighten up on the form as well. It's a little bit of a deduction when you start with a, uh, when you end with a C pass. Still a 9875, and now Ashley Miles. I would assume the crowd at Kentucky, uh, all eyes on Ashley. I think all eyes are on Ashley. Uh, and the, you can see the Kentucky team talking there, but uh, by the time she was in the middle of her floor team, everybody was watching Ashley. I thought it was there at the beginning. You could see the judge over there beginning to smile already. I, I don't see how you cannot smile yeah. when you watch this particular routine. It was nice to see Ashley out there. Hopefully we'll see her out there on more events this weekend against the University of Georgia. Um, she's coming back from that flu and, uh, you know, she, she was able to, to get right back into floor exercise after a week off and 
Uh, it'll just, you know, bars and beam is just going to take her just a little bit more time. And I probably could have put her on balance beam yeah. this week, but I, I really felt like that would be stretching her just a little bit. Don't want to overdo it. No, and, you know, when you're sick like that, uh, it makes a difference. Uh, fortunately, yesterday in practice, we had several um, that are coming down with... Uh, some illnesses it's oh, just that time of year yes and, and I just tell the ladies you have to be able to adjust and the next person has to be able to step in and go. So then that's one of the great things you have built depth all season long. Well I think that's important and we're still doing it we're, we did it on the balance beam we ran two exhibitions this meet and um, really gonna work hard to to get a lot of people involved. What a finish a 995 for Ashley Miles. Everybody excited about that one. Well, Bama's done very well, but headed for its highest score of the season by closing out on the balance beam. And that's coming up next on The Sarah Patterson Show. This is as much. You're back on The Sarah Patterson Show. We're looking at Alabama's performance at the University of Kentucky, its best score of the season. And, Sarah, you finish out on, on the, bal on the uh, balance beam. And a pretty good evening there, wasn't it? Well, I thought so. Uh, we're still not perfect. We still have some problems that we need to work on. But uh, I think right now, out of the six young ladies that we have um, uh, in the balance beam lineup, four of them are entrenched. I think that they have earned their spot, and they've done week in, week out. They've done a great job. We put two more exhibition up this weekend. Uh, I uh, saw some people do some good things, so uh, those last two spots are going to become pretty competitive. All about competition. That That's makes exactly better, right. Well, let's go to back to Lexington and take a look at Bama on the balance beam. And we're going to start again with Brittany McGee. It seems like we're starting everything with Brittany, but she just had a great, great night. She is, without a doubt, one of the most calm and focused individuals. Um, not too many times have I ever chosen to lead off with a freshman on the balance beam, but I just think she is a great competitor and has tremendous composure. You can see it right there, what a move. What Front aerial, a D-level move. She, her first uh, series was a one-arm back handspring into a layout step out. Her full turn there, she gets some bonus score as well. And Here's her a, leap series. Is she a candidate sooner or later to go all around? She is. Um, she had some difficulties on the uneven bars uh, in the elite program because she had to have so many skills in her routine. And I think we're just kind of narrowing it down to see. But she has wonderful lines, very much like Cassie Martin does. She has a big dismount. So I, I think when we get her ready, she's really going to perform well in the all around. And a round off double back dismount. A little short on her landing, that's, that was the major, major deduction there. 985 for Brittany, and here comes Erin Rightly. We're going to hear from Erin in just a few minutes. She comes up with a 980 in Lexington. Well, I think Erin's just come so far from where she used to be. Uh, in her, and it's not in her natural ability, but in her mental toughness. Mm -hmm. She does a front aerial there, it's a D-level move, and now she's going to take it right back into a tumbling series, a back handspring to a layout, step out, also a D-level move. But it's the way she carries herself and mm -hmm. the presence that she has on the balance beam uh, before she just kind of changed things and questioned herself and, yeah. and sometimes doubted whether she could do this. And uh, I've just, I've been so impressed with her. And very, very happy for her to see this success. When you get in the background, you see the other gymnasts uh, supporting their teammates. This is a great routine for Aaron. Back handspring to a layout full twist. One little step on the mm -hmm. landing there. Now Cassie Martin and 9775. She probably wasn't her best of the season, but she did well, didn't she? She did very well. And actually, um, one of the judges, the reason her score wasn't higher, one of the judges gave her start value as um, a 9-9 nine -nine rather than oh. a 10. In this leap right here, she does a switch ring. The judge felt like she did not release her head back quite enough, so she uh, did not give the value of that particular move. So that's something we're going to have to um, we're, we'll work on in practice so that it doesn't happen again. Okay. Great front aerial, little balance check there. It seems that the beam scores are tighter this year, are they? They are. They are tighter. It is. It was much more difficult to um, have those higher scores on balance beam. 
And I think you're seeing that right across the country. I, I noticed a couple of routines I thought Kentucky did, and I thought they were quite good mm -hmm. uh, in terms of their execution, and the scores were 9-5. Nine five five nine four seven five, and and I, you know, I, I attribute that to the judges are just really being tough on this particular event. Switch split into a double leg stag jump. Cassie does a nice back handspring into a gainer layout, and she has a great. She's great on the on the ending there. Darren Humphrey, first of all, the Humphrey move. She wins this event with a 9875 and wins the all around as well. We're moving into her tumbling series. Full twisting back handspring, back handspring layout step out. So she has two D's in that particular uh, tumbling pass with a B level skill in between it. That's her front move. A little short on the landing. I, you could take just a half a tenth there. She comes switch split. Wolf jump required. And then she goes into her back handspring. Now this is down required on the beam. Her movement down on the beam. She goes for a dismount, a gainer full. Good position, pikes just a little bit at the end. A 39.375 on the all round for Tara, and, and that's just kind of the tip of the iceberg, isn't it? Well, I, I think it's a great score for her, but more importantly, it's a step forward. Uh, she was not ready to compete in the all around, and uh, we've just been really working hard. And, and I think, you know, sometimes when they, when they have to work hard to obtain something, sometimes it means a little bit more right. to them. And I think you could see on Taryn's face that she was definitely excited yeah. that she had performed well. Well, a great night in Lexington. We're going to hear from one of Bama's gymnasts and talk about this week against number one Georgia when we continue on the Sarah Patterson Show. Back on the Sarah Patterson Show, let's learn more about Alabama's lone junior, Aaron Rightly. This is such an extraordinarily young team. Mm -hmm. You're a junior. Does that put some weight on you to be a kind of, of a leader for this team? Definitely. I, I've definitely felt like my role on the team has changed this year to more of like leadership or advisor to the younger <laughs> girls. But um, I, I think that's also helped with my confidence by, you know, leading by example and showing them how to, you know, do it right. So I'm glad it's helped me too in the long run. Well, let's, let's kind of step through it first of all on the floor. Tell me about your routine. Okay, um, it's a new routine this year, so dance and choreography is all new, and I was very excited because I've really been waiting for this kind of routine. Like, I feel like it's definitely the kind of dance that I like to do and expression and everything else, so I was very excited to do that, and I added my double pike back in from last year, and uh, the rest of the passes were pretty much the same, but I, it was just overall like a really good experience. Then stay in your own zone and kind of describe your beam routine. Uh, well, as soon as I saluted, I just got up there and went one skill at a time, you know, kept breathing, kept going through everything and just believing that I knew exactly how to do it and that I could. You came here from Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Why, why did you decide to come to the University of Alabama? Well, this university is the camp, the summer camps I came to for almost six years and, you know, I knew Brian, the coach, mostly, and I loved this gym, and I learned, like, a lot of my skills here because I came from an extremely small gym, so um, I just really fell in love with the place, and the academic program and gymnastics was just where I wanted to be. Aaron Rightly in the Crimson Tide, now ranked number three in America, number one Georgia coming to town on Friday night. I think your two teams could be number 19 and 20, and it would still be a great competition, wouldn't it? Well, it would be. This is kind of like the uh, Ohio State, Michigan State right. uh, of football. It's like Auburn, Alabama, Auburn, Tennessee, um, Tennessee, UConn, and women's basketball. In, in terms of rivalry, it really just doesn't get any better than this. So we're excited about it. It's been a couple of years since we've hosted Georgia here. Uh, I think for the fans, this will be one of the, the marquee events of the year, and we just want people to get their tickets early. Get their tickets early and get there early, and I think that's one of the things. Parking's a 
kind of tight here at the Coliseum. You can get there early and see some great, great warm-ups and see everybody in action, can't you? Well, there is, and we've tried to make it where there's, uh, we're fan-friendly, um, kids can get their faces painted, there's lots of things going on in the concourse, they can come watch the warm-ups, and uh, I think it's just going to be a great evening. Well, we hope you'll join us Coliseum 730 on Friday night and be back right here next week for The Sarah Patterson Show.